Hello everybody, I am Yamlal Sarkota, I am from Bespati Center. Friends, in today's lesson I am going to discuss about uh, read aloud. How to read the text, that's very important. So uh, three things are major in the read aloud, they are oral fluency, pronunciation and content. Uh, most of the students are in the puzzle, what is oral fluency? Oral fluency means smooth, effortless speaking. That should be in natural pace. You need to study it in natural pace in order to achieve high marks in PT speaking. So I am going to uh, read a text on read aloud here. As I mentioned you earlier, what are the things checked here? They are content, pronunciation, oral fluency. Content means each replacement, omission or insertion of word count as one error. Maximum score depends on the length of the item prompts. Pronunciation, native like all vowel and consonants are produced in a manner that is easily understood by regular speaker of the language. And the speaker uses assimilation and a delicious appropriate continuous space. Stress is placed correctly in all words and sentence level stress is fully appropriate. Oral fluency, native like speech is so smooth rhythm and phrasing. What is oral fluency? Smooth, effortless speaking. What is pronunciation? In pronunciation, you need to maintain your word stress and intonation. Intonation and word stress are very much important in pronunciation, where uh, smooth, effortless speaking is important in oral fluency. So I am going to read one script here. Okay, uh, now you listen it. Friends, humanly erected barrier between two divisions of land used to mark a legal or other boundary to keep animals or people in or out and sometimes as an ornament. In newly settled lands, fences are usually made of materials at hand, example, stone, earth or wood. Oral fluency means not, not the first reading. The meaning of oral fluency is that smooth effortless speaking most of the students they are in puzzle what is oral about the oral fluency what is oral fluency oral fluency means smooth effortless speaking and in oral fluency you need to speak at natural pace here i have uh, read it in natural pace fence humanly erected barriers between two divisions of land used to mark a legal or other boundary to keep animals or people in or out and sometimes as an ornament in newly settled lands Fences are usually made of materials at hand, example, stone, earth, or wood. Uh, here I have studied or I have read here in natural pace, it is very important in order to achieve high marks in PT speaking in read aloud. And similarly, you need to do it in repeat sentence also. Suppose this part of session is not supported by documentation. This part of session is not supported by documentation, which is very important. You need to copy the intonation as the speaker do there. And describe image also it is very important. The image shows the information about dot dot and in the image we can see there is the highest where it is the lowest. And overall the image shows the crucial information about dot dot. You have to uh, see the image and try to catch the content from there and then you can speak. In retail lecture also, in this lecture the speaker was discussing about and he mentioned that he talked about, he uh, also suggested that and finally he concluded by saying that you can do you can speak like uh, as I did earlier. And that is very important in uh, summarize um, written text and summarize uh, spoken text content is very much for, very much important for listening. And in summarize written text, there is an uh, important of content for the writing, whereas in summarize spoken text, the content is very much important for listening as well. So you should not miss any content in summarize uh, spoken text. It means the keyword you need to grab that and if you are not able to grab the keyword, you may lose marks in listening. So try to grab the keywords in summarize spoken text and try to grab the keyword uh, in writing summarized written text. The vocabulary plays important role in summarized written text and the similar same vocabulary play very important role in summarized spoken text as well. So these are the very important idea I have given you in this part of speaking and writing and listening. Okay friend, how is my video? Please do like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching this.